friends and students. Let's study the song Tu Hi Mera. This piece is in 4 4, so we must count to 4 in performing it. The original recording that I studied was in the concert key of B major, but we're going to play all our part with the capo at the fourth fret. So we will refer to all of these chords relative to the capo as if we're in the key of G in this case. All right. Now I'm going to show you the chords that we will use in the fingerboard hand. If you like to substitute your own chords and, and uh, simplify this a little, that's fine too. So if I show you this G and you want to do this G or this G or whatever G, that's fine if you play nice and sing well, right? Okay, but I'm going to imitate closely the original recording. So here is the voicing for the G chord. Now we're moving to this fingering for an E minor chord. like to use the first finger in this particular song and in this transition. All right, the next chord we will call A minor 7. And if we're following the song it returns to E minor, but notice I'm just bringing this up because we did E minor this way a moment ago and the E minor following the A minor 7, I, I would use a different finger in the uh, fingerboard hand. And then back to the G, and then the E again, and then the A minor 7. And now this D add 11. All right, uh, it's easy to get to the D add 11 from the preceding chord, the A minor 7, by just moving your left hand, or I should say fingerboard hand, up, retaining the shape of your A minor 7, move up one whole step, meaning two frets higher, and put your third finger on the fifth string at the fifth fret for the new bass note. All right, that covers how to make the chords. And like I said, if you have to substitute some different chords of your own, that's okay too. Now let's move to putting the two hands together, the chords and the picking. So I'm going to use the terms P, I, M. Yes, that's better. M, middle, I, index. P thumb. All right, so prepare your first chord, making the shape of a G as we described it, and now we will pick the strings in this manner. Middle finger on second string, thumb on the sixth string, and then index finger on the third string. Now we have to add this melodic note. I'm using my fourth finger to play the fifth fret of the second string, and I'm going to pick that note with my middle finger. So we have this, okay. Now the next chord is that E minor chord that we described. So I want you to notice that I have chose to use my first finger to play this particular uh, exchange between G and E. So now we're on E minor and we will play in this manner. Index finger on second string, thumb on fourth string, index on third string, middle on second string, and then index on third string. So that sounds like this. Now I will put together all of measure one, moving from the G to the E minor. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Now the next measure, prepare your A minor, seven chord, and we have this nice picking pattern that will be repeated in a moment, which is M, uh, M on the second string, P on the fourth string, I on the third string, back to M on the second string, and then I on the third string. So I will do that beat uh, one and two of measure two, meaning the A minor seven chord, in slow motion, three, four. That's all it is, M, P, I, M, I. Now, we're going to switch to E minor, but in this case we will use a different fingering to arrive at the E minor, given we're here on A minor 7. We will just release the first finger. Now you have converted A minor 7 to E minor. 
and the picking pattern is conveniently the same. M, P, I, M, I. So the picking pattern is the same on the A minor 7 and the E minor. I will play all of measure 2 in slow motion. 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, that makes measure 1 and 2 that we have studied. Now, three, measure 3 and 4 sort of completes the cycle, and measure 3 and 4 is exactly the same except for the last uh, chord of the final measure, measure 4. So you will go through that same routine in measure 3 of playing the G, then the E minor, exactly the same. Measure 3 is exactly the same as measure 1. Measure 4, we are switching to the A minor 7, exactly the same as measure 2. Now measure the end of measure 4. Instead of going from A minor 7 to E minor 7, we're going to go from A minor 7 up to the D at 11. So you need to transition from A minor 7 up to D at 11. Now in the picking hand, thumb on 6th string, thumb on 4th string. That's right, two notes in a row with the thumb. Then index on 3rd string and middle on 2nd string. Two more notes to go and we're done. Index on 3rd, middle on 2nd string. That's all the D add 11 chord. That would be. So now we have learned all four measures. And those four measures are repeated as the singer enters, right? If you like to study a little bit more of the song to go farther than what we discuss in this lesson, there's some other material on this channel available for this piece. Okay, so I suppose now I will put together all four measures in slow motion. Three, four, one, two. So now with this video and the tabs and the sheet music, I hope you have everything you need to study well and have fun.